You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree Number 20 of 2017, appointing three ambassadors at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Dr. Jum'a Ahmed Al Kabi has been appointed in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs General Court with the rank of ambassador. Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa from the Interior Ministry and Major General Ahmed Yusuf Al Rawai from the Bahrain Defense Force have been seconded to the Foreign Ministry's General Court with the ranks of ambassadors. The BDF Commander in Chief, the Minister of Interior, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs will implement the decree effective from the day of its issuance. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Law Number 10 of 2017, stipulating the approval of dual taxation avoidance agreement for financial income tax signed in Manama on the 22nd of December of 2015 between the Kingdom of Bahrain's government and the government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, associated with the law. The Prime Minister and each of the government ministers, according to the domain, will implement this law effective from the next day, following the date of its publication and the official gazette. His Royal the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Libya Palace, the General Supervisor of the Administrative and Technical Development in the Eastern Province of Saudi Arabia, Prince Fahad bin Abdullah bin Jalawi Al Saud. His Royal Highness affirmed the bilateral deep-rooted relations which form a solid basis between the brotherly countries that enhance the bilateral cooperation march and achieves progress in all fields. His Royal Highness praised the important role of Saudi Arabia since the prosperous era of the late founder, King Abdul Aziz Al Saud, to the wise leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. He hailed the country's role in maintaining security and stability of the Arab and Islamic countries that enhances their role in facing various challenges. He also pointed out that recent visit of the custodian of the two holy mosques to the U.S. and the positive outcome that resulted from it. Prince Fahad expressed his thanks and appreciation to his Royal Highness's keenness to enhance bilateral brotherly relations and cooperation, praising his firm stances to achieve stronger relations with Gulf and Arab countries. He hailed his Royal Highness's keenness to maintain gains made by the region in all fields. Under the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Government Apparatus Restructuring Committee, chaired by Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, held its first meeting with the presence of the members of the committee consisting of Their Highnesses, Deputy Prime Ministers, and a number of ministers and senior officials. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed reviewed a number of suggestions that achieved the government's visions to raise productivity and governmental work efficiency according to an integrated format capable of executing the government's programs and developmental goals through an effective government apparatus away from duplicity and inflation that is not in line with economic challenges or the government's vision. His Highness affirmed that the committee will hold its meetings on a weekly basis after examining the initial options and proposals that it had reviewed in its first meeting. The committee assigned some authorities to provide details and recommendations regarding them. The committee approved the implementation of the restructuring project according to stages, executive programs and a timetable that achieves the government's direction of restructuring and takes into account the interests of employees in various government bodies. Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa received a delegation of the French Bahraini Friendship Society led by the Society Secretary, Upper Rhine Region's MP Jean Luc Reutzer, and several French MPs. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed welcomed the French delegation, affirming the advanced level of bilateral ties in various fields boosted through the visit of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to France and meeting the French President and officials on September of 2015. His Highness praised the bilateral parliamentary ties and the exchange of expertise in the legislative and parliamentary work benefiting from the French Parliament's excellent expertise. 
He also thanked the French Bahraini Friendship Society delegation for their efforts in boosting the amicable ties. The French delegation thanked the Deputy Premier for his welcoming reception, praising Bahrain's parliamentary experience. MP Abdurrahman Rashid Boumjade, member of the Parliamentary Committee on Foreign Affairs, Defence and National Security, and the French Ambassador to Bahrain, Bernard Reynold Fabre, were present at the meeting. In the 24th Conference of the Arab Interparliamentary Union in Morocco, the Speaker of the Representative Council, Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mullah, affirmed the outcomes and resolutions of the closing report that reject foreign interference in Arab countries' internal affairs. The closing report voiced full support to the sovereignty of the Kingdom of Bahrain and commended the measures taken by the Bahraini government in defending human rights according to international conventions. The Representative Speaker, along with the participating parliamentary delegation, denounced foreign interference in the area and all attempts to spread extremism and terrorism. He also stress the importance of reinforcing parliamentary relations in order to strengthen the joint Arab action system in the light of Iran's persistent attempts to interfere in Arab countries' internal affairs. He also highlighted the importance of supporting the Palestinian cause and Palestinian people's rights to live in a secure, independent state. The Deputy Speaker of the Representative Council, Ali Al-Aradi, chaired today the weekly meeting where the Council discussed a proposal regarding establishing diplomatic representation offices in some countries, a proposal on establishing sports fields in Galali, and another proposal regarding establishing Olympic swimming pools in all governorates across the Kingdom. The Council also discussed a proposal regarding providing job opportunities through development projects, a proposal regarding establishing an accommodation centre for the mentally disabled, and another proposal regarding the payment of meat subsidies compensation during the holy month of Ramadan. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, inaugurated today the 13th exhibition of the Future Scientist Competition in Isa Cultural Center. He reviewed 50 technological and scientific inventions and research conducted by 150 students from various schools in the kingdom. The Minister of Education delivered a speech in which he hailed the high participation of students in the competition, which found solutions to various environmental and social problems, including energy saving, wildlife, and developing agricultural technologies. He stated that the ministry will try to get the best inventions in the exhibition patented. The minister added that holding such competition aims at supporting students' talents and encouraging their innovation, creativity and scientific research. He highlighted the efforts of the ministry's Center for Science and Environment in organizing the event in cooperation with a number of government and private institutions. He then honored the organizing committee of the event. Minister of Works and Social Development Jamil bin Mohammed Hamedan inaugurated today the 5th Bahrain International Exhibition for Education and Training, which is organized by Trade Expo Company with the participation of more than 100 government and private universities and training institutions from outside and inside Bahrain. It's quite busy and it, it's a pleasure to see all the future uh, recruits of universities coming from the schools to view the, the opportunities of the uh, education. We are two schools that join together in a center for the arts and now we are proposing here in Bahrain our uh, tradition, the Italian tradition of fine arts, the Italian masterships in design and uh, the long time tradition of music. And higher studies in France are a great opportunity for students because the studies are almost free. The French government supports higher studies for French citizens and also international students. And the higher studies in France are pretty famous all around the world. So it's a great opportunity for students here in Bahrain to travel and get education abroad. We do have 10 students from Bahrain right now. And we are aiming to get also more. Because we think that our specializations will be benefiting all GCC countries, including Bahrain. Um, I have brochures, uh, both in Arabic and English, and it's the process uh, to study in the United States. So everything that someone would need to know about starting in Bahrain and getting, you know, from A to Z all the way to the U.S., um, information on visas, uh, information on the application process. Um, there's in information in here on exchange programs. To interact with the schools, public schools of Bahrain, to educate them on our courses in medicine and in nursing and advise them on what the best options are in their choice in selecting a career in healthcare. 
Civil defense units managed to control an extinguished fire that broke out early today in two warehouses in the industrial area of Mina Selman. The director general of the Civil Defense Department said that 24 civil defense vehicles and 95 officers were sent to the location in order to control and extinguish the fire, adding that one officer has sustained injuries. The director general said that investigations are still underway to find out the cause of the fire. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Sheikh Mohammed. Bahrain Altshare Index closed at 1,365.78 points, marking a decrease of 8.45 points below the previous closing. This decrease was due to the fall in the commercial banks, investments and services and industrial sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial bank sector, representing 88% of the total value of shares traded. Results indicated that 68 equity transactions took place, with a volume of 4,382,921 shares, worth 1,380,041 Bahraini dinars.